So here we have a MacBook uh, uh, from a friend of mine and he wants to make it not run like garbage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, spinning disk out and we're going to put a solid state disk in. Now if you know anything about solid state disks, you know that the basic principle is that there are no moving parts and basically this is just a giant chunk of memory. So how to do that uh, to make the MacBook actually run properly? Well, let's go through it. The first thing we have to do is flip it over and pop out these screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10 screws. So let's get to it. So what you'll need is a very small uh, Phillips uh, head screwdriver. That's the star for those of you that aren't mechanically oriented. And this is a very simple procedure, by the way. So everybody should be able to do it. So don't, uh, don't be afraid to pull it apart. Anyway, so let's go. I'm go I won't bore you with uh, watch having you watch me take the screws out. I'm just gonna zip through it here, so. Okay, so as you can see, the screws are not the same size. So, very small in the corner. So the way I do this is I will lay these out in the order that I took them out so I can put the exact screw back in the same hole. Okay, so now we have that off, the how to pull off the back. Sometimes these are clipped on, sometimes not. This one isn't, so it just popped off nicely. So very, very simple. So there we go. I'm just gonna put this uh, back over on the side where you can't see it. So for those of you who've never been into a MacBook, it's not very challenging. Um, here we have uh, the um, battery, the hard disk, the DVD, the uh, CPU fan. Below that is the CPU. Here's memory. Looks like this memory is not seated properly. Uh, or maybe it is, hard to tell. Anyway, if you pop this memory out, you just pop it, you can see that there are two sticks under here. So I can, I can pop these out and I could replace them with larger ones if I, if I wish. So I'm just gonna put this one back in, there we go. And pop, just so you see it, there you go. Uh, if you need a battery, for God's sakes, don't buy a real Mac battery, just buy one online off eBay or wherever else. Okay, so again, I'm gonna take this hard disk and I'm going to replace it with this uh, uh, solid state disk. And again, solid state simply means that there's no moving parts. And uh, what that means in today's technology is simply that there's a, um, uh, it's a big chunk of memory. Not spinning. Okay, once again, I take the screws up very carefully and I lay them out in the order in which I took them out so that they can go back in the exact same hole. Sometimes the screws are the same size, sometimes they're not. I just generally don't take chances. I just lay them out and then it doesn't make any difference. And I don't have to pay too much attention. There we go. There we go. Yay. Okay, you have to be very careful with this ribbon. So this ribbon at the end. Okay, so I have the old disc out. You'll notice on this old disc that there's a couple of mounting uh, points here. And those uh, little stubs do not exist on this disc. Now, I'm not worried about it at all because having a spinning disc move is a crazy, crazy, crazy bad idea. You are going to have corruption. Not good. However, on a solid state disc, there's no moving parts. I don't care. You could throw it down the stairs. It would almost certainly work just as well. So um, now this one is thicker. So uh, most solid state discs, because they are so much thinner, come with a little expansion piece of plastic. Uh, and this little piece of tape you can pull off to put on. Uh, put on the bottom here. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to put it in loose because I don't really care. It doesn't need to be there. Uh, it's just um, just makes it a little bit fatter so it doesn't move around as much. So oh, I should have shown you that. So let's do that. So at the end here is your uh, there's your uh, power and that is your uh, data connection. However, on this MacBook, they're all in one. So you really can't screw it up. So you just pop it on. There you go. Take the expansion, which is again, it's optional. You don't really need it. Pop that in, tuck it in tight, there we go. Take this little bracket, put it on top. And um, yeah, that's gonna be about it. So let's just screw it back down. Okay, so while you're in here, you should always take the opportunity while you're inside a, a chassis to blow out the CPU fan. Uh, because I'm not at work, I don't have my uh, compressed air with me, so I'm just gonna blow it up by hand. And you think, well, will that make a difference? Oh yeah, it makes a big difference. So, all right. So that's done, I'm gonna pop this on and uh, pop the back on. And I'm not going to uh, screw it in yet because I'm gonna power it up, make sure it all comes up. Press and hold the option key, press the power button. 
The option key is what gives you the uh, boot options. So as soon as something comes up, there we go. Let's just let it sit. In case you're wondering, the reason why it says Windows here is because the disk I put in has a Windows image on it already. It's not a brand new disk, it's a used disk. Well, there's a bunch of ways to go to, to get OS X. Mac has a, uh, Apple has an ingenious little way to, to, uh, to install uh, from scratch. So um, uh, let's uh, power this thing up. And as soon as it does, you need to press the options, command and R, you know, for recovery. Um, as soon as you hear the tone. So let's power it up. There it is, and R, and just hold it. There it is. Now, uh, I can tell you that if you don't plug it in, it'll eventually bark at you to say you can't do an install without having it plugged in. So I'm gonna just plug this in. Okay, so here we are at Choose Network. I'm gonna go down and choose My Network. And bingo, it uh, downloads a uh, a little installer. This takes about, uh, oh, maybe three minutes, four minutes. So we're gonna skip through this. Okay, so note, if you uh, get an error before this, you can't get this to work, you may need to update your UEFI, uh, which is basically what used to be called the BIOS. It's the interface between the, the operating system and the hardware. It tells the hardware what, um, uh, it tells the operating system what the hardware is capable of and um, yeah and uh, if you have a Mac that's newer than uh, 2012 you won't have a problem with that but if you have an older Mac um, that supports this uh, remote uh, you know installation you may need to update that I'll put it in the uh, post on, on where to source that from most people won't need it though okay so this is a, a, a new disk that I put in at this point so uh, if I go into uh, disk utility, it would uh, let me, you know, format it, create partitions, so on and so forth, but there's nothing on it. Um, uh, but let's go in here, because I will have to create something. Okay, so you can see it's a nice new disk. So what I'm gonna do is create a new image. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click um, uh, erase, and that will create, uh, that will give me the choice to create a new, uh, partition uh, and uh, a new format here, so I'm just going to call this uh, OS X, OS X um, and uh, let's see here, let's choose. Sure, that one's fine. There's a uh, there's a number of them here. If you want a case sensitive or not, let's just use the default Mac OS X extended. That's fine, and it does need to have a GUID uh, partition map for this to work properly. So let's uh, click Erase. And erase is a bit of a misnomer, it, it, it's, it's doing more than that, so as you can see. Okay, so let's get out of here now and go to reinstall Mac OS and click continue. And um, continue, now this will take a minute and uh, you can click on it all you want, nothing much is going to happen, so just sit and wait. There we go, and agree with the uh, license agreement, yes, read it very carefully. There's a nice place for it to be installed, click next. And bingo, this is going to start pulling down Mac OS High Sierra and install it on that partition. So I'm not gonna punish you with sitting here for 11 to 20 minutes as this thing downloads and installs. What I'll do is advance this right now and then uh, we'll start it again when something useful happens. Yeah, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to select Canada. Median English is just fine. Actually, I'll choose the US keyword because that's actually what this is. And I'll connect to my Wi Fi. Now, this is going to ask how you want to transfer the files. Uh, for the sake of uh, getting through this, I'm just going to say don't do anything. I'm not going to sign in with uh, my Apple ID. Um, 
you should. Uh, I'm not going to, just for the sake of time. Yes, I'm going to skip it. Uh, certainly read all the terms and conditions. Very, very important. There we go, red. Okay, so I'm just going to type in my buddy's name. It's fine. Uh, you can change the picture. Uh, I just don't care. <laughs> so uh, I'll make him a, a pretty little coin um, just for fun. Actually, let's make him a blue. That's a blue. There we go. Uh, I don't have a password for this. Um, actually, I, we, I, we don't have a choice. You have to put a password in. So we'll do something silly. 1122. 1122. My password is 11 space 22. It, so it won't let you put the password in. Uh, so you have to, in the, as the hint, so you have to change it a bit. There we go. And all it's going to do, it, you won't see this if you're uh, using your Apple account, and you really should use your Apple account. I'm simply trying to uh, make this faster. There we go. And uh, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to take defaults. And there we go. Spanky, huh? Okay, and that is how you upgrade uh, a Mac with a spinning disk to a Mac with a uh, solid state disk. This will run dramatically faster uh, than it did before, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Bye-bye.